Hi, I'm Bob Hot Rod Roar from Kalefi. Now we're going to talk about automatic flow valves, the flow cal series from Kalefi. This is the cutaway of what a flow cal looks like inside, and this is a pressure independent balancing valve. So what this valve does is it maintains a constant flow regardless of the pressure changes in the system. So for an example on the graphic you can see as different zone valves in the system would turn on and off for different heat emitters, it's going to maintain a constant GPM rate through the valve. And it does that with this patented cartridge that Cleffy has built. A couple things about the cartridge. We make that cartridge out of polymer so that it's noise free. Some of the other uh, types out there have a metal cartridge and they can set up a little, little buzzing, a little resonant sound in there sometimes. By making it with a polymer it's a very quiet, very smooth acting control uh, cartridge in there. So let me show you what happens here. So the fluid comes into this valve like here and it goes down here and then it comes and it comes around the outside of this cartridge and you'll notice on the cartridge it has a characterized slot that's been machined into the side of that and that's the key how this works. So as the pressure in the system changes it moves that inside piston in there and it changes the characteristic of that slot in there so it assures that you're going to get the constant flow through the valve as pressure from the pump in the system changes, valves turn on and off, different heat emitters are coming and going. That's the key to this valve that's the secret to how it works. It's in a nice brass housing here. You notice here we've got a port at the bottom that you can flush it out, clean it out, so you can take that cap out and you can just, um, with the isolation valve that we provide, now you can shut it off and you can back flush any debris that might settle down into the bottom of that. You can also, there's a bigger thread on here that you can take apart and you can actually take that cartridge out of there. Notice that everything's machined with a fine thread and an o-ring, so if you do have to take that apart to service, it's going to be easy to unscrew that and get it back together uh, leak-free. A little bit on the top here, leave that off. Two uh, PT ports. PETS ports are known as pressure temperature ports is what it stands for. That allows you to put a gauge across there and see what the differential pressure is across that. We also have an optional uh, extension that for that, so if you're going to insulate around this, it's going to get wrapped where you don't have access to those ports anymore. You can put that on there and now you've got the ability to get your, uh, your gauge in on top of it there. So that's the uh, flow cal in the, in the Y pattern. Now we make a compact version of this also. Let me show you that. Same technology inside, same cartridge, same characteristic port and everything. The same uh, composite type of cartridge. It's a union connection now. So you can uh, use this in tighter applications. This is what typically you use maybe on an air handler or something where you want to set the flow rate that can be used in uh, different sizes. We'll build this to the flow rate that you're required. So it'll have a seal on there. It'll have a, a label on that that tells you what the flow rate is. That's a threaded version of it there. Now this one is a, um, a low lead brass, so it can be used in combined systems, open systems where the heating water and the domestic water is mixed. So that's a nice thing about that, that valve there. Now another thing you want to make sure when you install this type of valve is because we do have those small tolerances and stuff there, you want to keep debris out. So what we offer is a very nice um, brass Y strainer. So what's going to happen with this valve, again, a nice isolation valve so it can be serviced. The flow comes in, it goes through the center of that basket, it uh, traps any debris in there before it can get down into your, um, into your valve mechanism downstream of that. Same thing here, we've got a nice um, port at the bottom that you can put, let me show you, a little valve in there with a hose connection that you can flush that out. The strainer is removable, the same as on the, um, the flow cal there, you can take that big plug out of there and you can remove that strainer if it gets plugged up solid with something. But this is just going to protect anything downstream from getting plugged up and causing the problem. Same thing on the top here, we give you those handy uh, PT ports so you can test if you've got a pressure differential across that, it's indicating that the strainer needs to be serviced. But we make it very easy for you to service it by giving you the isolation valve in there also. So the Y strainer and the two different versions of the flow cal from Kalefi.